Okay, today we're going to be making a stationary box. I've already got one made here, and I'll show it to you really quick. Um, but it has a slot for um, A2 cards. Um, you can fit a 3x3 three three square uh, post-it note holder in there. Um, most people put gift tags and things like that in here. And then I made a little... Um, place to hold your stamps. So let's get started. All right, our first step is to make sure you have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, if it's off a little bit, it's going to throw your whole box off. So what I've done is gone ahead and made sure beforehand by measuring with a metal ruler that it's actually 12 by 12 cardstock. Okay, we're going to score at three inches and nine inches. Then we're going to rotate and score at five inches. And at seven inches. Okay, put that aside for just a second. And now we're going to trim a clip, I guess I should say, along the score lines. To make the interior flaps. All right, so what we're going to do is fold these flaps in and we're going to apply sticky strip here close to the fold line and here on the edge and we're going to stick those down. All right. We've got a piece of paper that is eight and a half by four and a quarter. It's been scored at um, one and a quarter inches on three sides, the two short ones and one of the long ones. I've already made a mistake this morning. That's why you're seeing white right there. Um, and so you're going to cut out the corners and you're going to lay the edge of this right here where we've folded in the interior flaps and st stick the sticky strip down and it helps if you take the <laughs> oh my it's going to be one of those days. All right. So again, we're going to line up the edge. And adhere it down. And then we're going to, let's see if I can do this backwards. We're going to take the edge here. And line it up the score line with the outside edge. Okay. And again, fold in 
and align the score line with the outside edge. And that gives us the space to hold our cards. All right. Then the next um, pieces that we're going to attach, we have cut a five and a half by two inch and a four and a half by two inch strip of paper. We've scored the edges at um, a half and one inch on both. We've attached our sticky strip along the score line and we're going to take our five and a half by two inch piece and folding it at the score line we're going to attach it on that corner. And then again folding on the score line we'll attach it. Then using the four and a half by two inch piece we're going to fold on the score line come to the edge of the box and attach it there then butt it up against the other one and that gives us the two small pockets. Then the last pocket that we add is cut at three by two inches, three inches this way, two inches this way, and then scored at a quarter and a half inch. You apply sticky strip on the outside edges and you cut your corners so that this is going to be the bottom of the box and this will be the how you fold in the sides and you'll attach it here so what I do just because it's easier this way is I take this sticky strip off the bottom one and glue down my corners and then remove the sticky strip And like I said, sticky strip either likes me or it doesn't, and today it does not. Okay, and then just center it. On that smaller side. And there we have our box ready to be filled. Um, on the other one, I took a small oval and punched out some ovals and then wrote stamps for this one and notes for this one. Um, you can label them and then we'll take and fold it up like that so that these flaps are in the back. See if I can do this one handed. And there you go. A really beautiful stationary box. Enjoy.